Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a prop M16 for just a couple of bucks, and actually you could build a variety of guns using this method. Now, my film budget is zero, so I had to build this using things I found around the house. Here's a list of tools and supplies that you'll need. Packing tape, a razor knife, scissors, some zip ties, either black duct tape, electrical tape, or in my case, I used some sign vinyl that I had laying around. This stuff is really great because that gloss really makes it look like metal on film. You'll need an old piece of pipe or possibly a wood dowel to use as the gun barrel. A couple small sections of old tubing or hose would be great too. Now this is optional, but I wanted my M16 to have a removable clip, so I needed some plastic that would clip into it itself. I found this barbed hose end and then this piece of plastic that it fit into. You could just use a piece of tubing if you didn't have this weird plastic piece. Lastly, you'll need a bunch of cardboard. I just cut up an old box I had. Build the first thing you're going to want to do is locate a picture of the gun you want to build. In my case, I just did a Google image search for M16 until I found a good picture. I had an old camping chair that was rusting away, and I was able to break the leg off to use as a gun barrel. Then I used a small piece of tubing and slipped it over the end. This will make the vented gun barrel end that you see on the M16. Use your razor knife to cut out the vent holes in the small piece of tubing and trim it till it's the right size. When you're finished, it should look something like this. Next, I built the center of the gun, the part that goes above the handles between the stock and the barrel. I cut out something to be the rough shape, including the trigger guards, one for each side of the gun. I used zip ties to attach this. Now, for my gun, I had that weird U-shaped piece of plastic. I went ahead and attached that with zip ties too. If you don't have that, you could attach a piece of hose if you're going to use the barbed end for a removable clip, or if you're not having a removable clip, just build the whole thing out of cardboard. Next, I built the front handguard. The gun I chose had a triangle shaped handguard which is much easier to make out of cardboard than a circle one. If you have to bend cardboard not along the corrugated edge, it's really easy to do. Just use the back of your scissors to score a line where you want to bend it and it should bend fairly easily right along that line. In the picture, the top part of this seemed to have a sort of ribbed top, so I went ahead and cut little half circles about one inch long all across the top. The triangle piece needed something to clamp onto, so I took a strip of cardboard wrapped it around the barrel until it was a good thickness that the triangle would just clamp onto, and then I taped it in place. I did one for the front and the back of the triangle. Next, I cut out the sight. I used the guard to get a triangle shape for the back of the sight, and then I made a long strip that could be bent over to make the front of the sight. I then cut two small circles the size of the barrel in the sight and slid it on the barrel. If you partially assemble what you have, you can see the gun is really starting to take shape. Next, I wrapped the whole triangle piece in black electrical tape. This gave it a really cool black matte finish, and you can see the gun's really coming together. Next, I did a little detail work on the center of the gun in preparation for the pistol grip and the clip. Now it's time to build the pistol grip. The important thing here is that it's sturdy. I made mine kind of funky because I tied into that U-shaped piece of plastic. If you don't have this, just do it however you need to, but make sure that it's good and secure on the stock of the gun or that pipe that you used as a barrel because it's going to be important for your actor to hold the gun. Once I built something I was happy with, I wrapped it in black electrical tape to give it that cool flat black look. Now it's time to build the clip. Make sure you give it a curve because that's the way the clip looks on an M16. And then if you're going to have a removable clip, make sure that you secure the barbed hose end inside of that with a zip tie. Make sure it's really tight because you don't want the hose end coming out when you pull the clip off. You just want it to come off with the clip. Now you'll build the stock. For this part, you want to kind of lay the gun out, look at your picture, and make sure you get the size about right. So what I did is I just took a marker and drew the shape that I wanted. Once I had that, I basically built a 3D triangle that would all fold together to make the stock. You could do this a variety of ways. Remember, when you're bending cardboard that's not along the corrugated edge, just make sure to score the back, and really all you're doing is denting it with the back of the scissors, then it'll fold real nice. You can tape the back and the top, but leave the bottom open because you're going to need access to the inner part to secure it to the barrel. To secure the stock to the barrel, you're going to poke some holes in the triangle and then run some zip ties through. Now, the camping chair actually had a hole drilled in the barrel. I found this to be super helpful for anchoring that, so you might drill some holes in your pipe or whatever you're using for your barrel. Basically, you want it to be super secure and attached with the zip ties. At this point, you have a pretty complete looking gun, but it looks really, really homemade and like it's made out of cardboard. We're going to fix that in a minute, but for now, Take some of the parts that look a little more fragile and make sure they're covered really good in packing tape. Because packing tape and cardboard make a pretty strong combination. So I went ahead and taped over both the trigger guards because that's such a thin piece of cardboard and secured it. You can see how I did it here. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I'll just paint my gun, it'll be easier, I strongly recommend you don't do this. If you spray paint cardboard and tape combinations, it comes out all funky. The cardboard absorbs the paint and just really looks like cardboard still. And the uh, the tape just it doesn't take 
paint well. What I would recommend is black vinyl or even black duct tape or black electrical tape as we've already seen works quite well. So what you're going to do is start covering the gun from the inside out. I started with the trigger guard, I pulled off the end cap and then covered the trigger guard and then before I put it on I had to do the barrel so you'll see me wrapping the barrel here. Now the tubing I used for the barrel cap was white so I just took a black magic marker and it actually ended up looking really good. Make sure to color the outside and the inside in case you have any shots that look into the gun. As you cut the vinyl or tape don't worry too much, it's okay if you go a little bigger, you can always trim pieces off. At the same time, if you don't cover stuff, you can always just add more. So it's not a direct science, just keep keep smoothing it on there, it'll look great. This black sign vinyl really is great for like a variety of projects. I bought this whole roll and it's like 24 inches wide on eBay for like 10 bucks, so not pushing that, but I definitely find it handy for all sorts of things. At this point, the gun's really coming together. When it came to the clip, I went ahead and did that out of black electrical tape again, and I went ahead and went up and down instead of around. That way it gave it those kind of grooves that are so familiar with the M16. I got excited at this point, but then I realized the gun was missing something and it turned out I hadn't made the top handle, so I went ahead and added that afterwards. Again, not a problem, I just secured it really well with packing tape and I wrapped it all around with packing tape so it would be strong enough to use as a handle if I needed to. Then it was just a matter of covering it with a black vinyl. So there you have it, a seriously budget movie prop. Now this thing looks very real, so it is really important you do not take this out in public. Only use this in a closed set, be really careful with what looks like a very real gun and just just don't be stupid. One thing that's great about building props this way is that they are really close to free. Also it allows you to build guns that are completely unrealistic or unreachable. Also you can build guns that are a different size. If you want to build a giant gun or say a very small gun for a baby as I did for my James Bond intro, you can check out my baby using some silenced pistols. I do realize that Airsoft also makes a lot of guns that are very realistic looking and super cheap so they're a great option but for me my film budget really is zero so this is just what I do. I think it works great. You can decide for yourself. Another cool thing is that vinyl comes in chrome, so like I made a chrome 45 that was pretty awesome. You can see the M16 in action in my next Rider video, which is hoping to be a Terminator theme, so if you're a fan of that, I think you will like it. But you can decide for yourself. See ya! <laughs>